All right, so the exploiters are back in Pet Simulator 99, abusing the balloon system to pump a ton of diamonds into the Pet Simulator economy. So of course, today we're gonna be doing the right thing and testing this method for ourselves to see how much diamonds we can make just popping the balloons regularly with no exploits or anything. And of course, this method is completely free to play. So whatever I am able to get in an hour from grinding this method, you guys can do for yourselves because it requires no game passes or anything else that you need in the game. All you need is your handy dandy slingshot and you are going to be able to go ahead and do this as much as you want. Now, personally, I am doing this because I actually wanted to see how much these exploiters can really make now obviously i'm not going to be able to pop nearly as many balloons per hour as they can because of course they are teleporting to each balloon and automatically collecting each present so they can do it a whole lot faster than me but basically we could just go ahead and see roughly how much these guys are really making from using this exploit and if you do end up enjoying this video it would mean the world to me if you gave it a like and subscribed on this channel we cover all sorts of pet simulator 99 content so if that interests you you should definitely be joined up and also the link to my discord will be on the screen throughout the whole video in that discord we do daily giveaways for Pet Simulator 99, as well as just have a helpful community for Roblox in general. I hope to see you guys in there, but let's get started with this method because I'm going to do this for an hour to see exactly how much diamonds we can make as a free to play player doing this method. All right, you guys, so there's no fancy tricks here. We cleared our inventory, so we have absolutely nothing in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can only get large, small, and mini chests from the balloons. But honestly, I haven't done it since they supposedly patched the method a while ago. So maybe you can get some new things. So basically, all we need is our handy dandy slingy here. And we're going to be able to pop as many balloons as we can. And I guess we just got to find them throughout the map. I would assume these balloons respawn pretty quickly so we won't need a server hop but if we do need a server hop then that will be included in the time because obviously that is part of the grind and let's start the timer and get right into it so we're going to move this over to the side and let's get going now obviously i am cheating a little bit because i am going to use my shiny hot dog hoverboard which gives me a little bit of a boost now i am actually really bad at doing this little slingshot mini game is actually why I didn't do it before. We got our first large gift. I'm not too sure if we should just be going for the large gifts or if going for the small gifts is lucrative at all. We'll do these small gifts as well. If you didn't know, the small gifts are worth about 3,200 and then the large gifts are worth about 11,500, I believe. So getting the right angle to do this is kind of difficult sometimes. So... I'm not really sure if these small gift bags are really worth it. Like right there, we just made 6K, which isn't horrible. But I think as we get the hang of this, we can go much, much faster. Honestly, I think we might want to just skip over the small gift bags unless they are near a large gift bag. Because stopping to get them just seems like it wastes too much time. So if we can just keep moving along and only go for these large gift bags, which are the light blue balloons, then we should be good. All right. So I never said I'm any good at this. Uh, I guess there is quite a bit of a learning curve when it comes to this kind of stuff. But the exploiters don't even have to aim when doing this. So cut me a break. We are now just hitting the three minute mark. So I actually think we're doing pretty decent for this method. I don't know why I'm stopping for the small gift bag after I just said I'm only doing large, but let's keep going. My cat is now in my face yelling at me so she is not making this any easier now for this video i will probably include a lot of cuts because obviously it's going to be a lot of me running from balloon to balloon and that's not going to be very interesting for you guys so we're going to keep going so we're just going to cut out the boring part and i will show you guys my experience with dealing with certain things while doing this method just so you guys know how you guys can best be doing this now we did reach the end of the map so i'm going to go back through it and hopefully we can find some more large gift bag balloons and if we don't we probably will have to server hop which will take quite a bit of time honestly going into this method though i thought these balloons would respawn quick enough so we wouldn't have to server hop but oh actually look see there's another one here we might not have to server hop i don't know when it becomes lucrative to actually leave the server and just go to a new one 
to find new balloons but for now we are finding some more on this server and it is probably important to mention that we are just on a public server here i am not on a private server which is another reason why you guys can just do this for yourselves you don't need to buy anything to do this method and it is looking like these balloons do respawn by themselves so we might not have to server hop which will save us a lot of time okay well i said that and then i haven't seen a balloon in like 10 levels so we're going to keep running and then look around the corner and see if we see any. All right, so we have one here, but it does seem like the amount of balloons is a lot less right now. I'm not sure why that is. We might need to server hop just so we can get a new set of balloons. All right, so we ran down to the end of this area. So I'm actually going to leave this server and then just hop in another random public server just so we can get a new set of balloons to farm. We are currently eight minutes into this challenge and it does feel like we are being pretty efficient. So honestly, I'm pretty happy with these results. Let's get the slingshot out and continue. This method would be a lot better if I was better at actually shooting these things down too, because my efficiency is not the greatest. I think the strategy is getting like right below them. So you just need to do that straight up shot. Let's try that here. Oh yeah, that's, that's easiest. That's so much easier doing it like that. As long as there aren't like breakables blocking where you're clicking, you should be good. Because when you go on the side and you actually have to like aim your trajectory in a certain way it is kind of difficult so going under actually stops all of that so i'm going to keep doing that method and when i get to the end of the levels on this server i probably will just go ahead and server hop instantly because fresh servers just have a ton of balloons and it is much easier to do it like this and I feel like we're actually really flying through these. So the more balloons that we can do, the better. And with how easy it is to actually hit these balloons if you go under them, it is making me actually farm these little ones. I think it is worth it. I can only imagine how much these exploiters are making every hour doing this. All they are doing is teleporting straight to these balloons and then popping them instantly and then farming the crates after they fall. So they are flying through these things probably. And these guys don't even have to fly around on a shiny glizzy at all. I feel like once you get in your groove of doing this, you can actually make quite a bit by doing this method. All right, so we are at the end here. I'm going to break this very last one and then we are going to server hop and go into a new server and begin the process all over again. All right, so I pretty much just flew through this server and I'm already done. I got kind of locked in there, so I wasn't talking much, so I probably won't include that in the video, but we are currently at 17 minutes and 14 seconds in the challenge. So we're gonna server hop again and go right into a brand new server. All right, you guys, so you know the drill. Let's hop in, pull out the slingshot, and let's get popping. Now, I don't know if this is real, but I did see a post a long time ago talking about hoverboard speeds when traveling. And I think you do go a lot faster if you do move in a zigzag pattern. So actually that is probably very beneficial for this method. So like if you jump like this, I'm pretty sure you travel a lot quicker than just going straight. Like I'll show you guys in a second because we do have some balloons right here that I need to pop. But I'm pretty sure when you do the little zigzags on the hoverboard, you go a ton faster, which it would actually make you a lot more diamonds with this method. So if you see, this is how fast you go straight. But if you go like side to side, which is kind of hard because I'm actually moving a little too fast. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, I'm honestly not sure if that's real or not. I might have dreamt that up. Maybe it's something I test for another video. But for now, anything that actually speeds up your momentum of doing this method will make you a lot more diamonds. So that is very beneficial, which actually gives me a thought that maybe we should be using some speed five books because I know these increase your player and pet speed, but I'm not sure if the player speed is affected if you are on a hoverboard, but we might as well. And I will also pop a speed three potion as well. Anything that makes us go through these levels quicker should help us to make more diamonds. So I haven't tested that enough to know, but we might as well get as much speed as possible. And with that, we are done with this level. So I lost track of how many servers we've been through, but we are flying through these. We are 22 minutes into the challenge. So hopefully we can make some more diamonds. All right. So we actually found our first mini chest balloon. So I'm pretty sure these give you mini chests, right? So yeah, so that's actually really good. That's 35K right there. 
the, those balloons are actually pretty rare because I think we're on our fifth or sixth server now. And that is the first one I've seen this whole time. So that is pretty good. If we got a ton more of those, we could definitely be making a lot more diamonds. But I do feel like we are doing pretty good at the moment. Let's keep going. I will see you guys in a second with a new update. All right. So I did just get the balloon popper enchant. Enchant. I meant achievement. And that gave us an additional 25 gift bags. So I guess we will include that in the total of what we got from this video. Just because obviously you guys can get that achievement for yourselves and get those free gift bags along with this method. But obviously from the total that we do get from this video, we should not include that in the hourly amount that we are making. All right, so we're done with this server. Pretty much got all the balloons there. So we're going to hop on to the next one. Currently 26 minutes into the challenge. I will see you guys in a second. All right, so we did get our second mini chest balloon which is pretty good. Obviously, a mini chest isn't going to make too big of a dent in a test that is an hour long, considering we just hit the 30 minute mark and that is our second mini chest. So I don't think these are very common at all, but they are a nice little benefit because they're worth like roughly three times the prices of the large gift bags. So that is pretty good considering it only takes uh, a third of the time of getting that. So we are only halfway through this challenge. So we have a lot more diamonds to make. I'm actually going to try to lock in here and go as quick as possible because I want to give a fair shot and actually see how much diamonds we could make by doing this method. All I'm thinking about while doing this method is how how much these exploiters are making by it now obviously one of the most common things people are saying that big games should do is to just remove these balloons from the game because obviously it's just way too exploitable for people so they might as well just take it out of the game because it's really only hurting the economy and actually people don't really do this method all that much actually in game so so removing it from the game itself would not cause that much damage to the actual player base but it would help the economy by stopping that inflation and influx of diamonds into the market. So hopefully by the time you're actually seeing this video, they don't remove these from the game because this test would become pretty much useless. But either way, we could pretty much just see how much diamonds these people are being able to make from doing this. So we are moving on to the next server because we've cleaned that server of all their balloon. But as you guys can see, we're currently 35 minutes on the timer right now. So we are a little over halfway done and I feel like my efficiency is picking up. Now going into this, I actually did think this would be super boring and actually not a very fun grind at all. But I am actually enjoying doing this. Once you get the hang of it, it's kind of like a little competition with yourself seeing how quickly you can do these. So honestly, in terms of things that you actually can grind in this game, this is actually not too bad in terms of fun. But we will have to see till the end to see if it is actually worth it and you can actually make a decent amount by doing this. In the end of the video, I probably will give a suggestion for what level of people should be doing this as well. We are currently 39 minutes into it, so let's keep going. I'll see you guys in a second. And we did find our third mini chest balloon. Look how big these things are. Honestly, if all the balloons were that big, it would be actually impossible to miss them. I am actually wondering whether or not you would make more by only going for the large gifts because it does feel like you would make a little bit more if you only focused on the large gift balloons. But for the purposes of this test, we're just going to be farming all of them that we see all the easy ones at least we might skip over a few of the small gift bags ones like these are pretty easy so let's keep going we pretty much got 15 minutes left on this challenge so let's see how much we can actually make i guess if there is a ton of people doing this method then there aren't going to be enough balloons for people to do them efficiently so that might be something to consider for this method but let's keep going i already see some balloons on this server so we should be good all right so my efficiency seems to be increasing as we go through we are currently almost at our last 10 minutes of this challenge i'm gonna fly through these last 10 minutes and i'll see you guys in a second with the total results of what we've gotten from doing this method for an hour all right so we are officially in our last five minutes of the challenge 
In these last few minutes, I have been only going for the large gift bags now because to me, it does seem like it is more worth it that way. And you're just able to hit them more consistently as they are bigger balloons. So like if you look right here, look how much bigger this balloon is than the red balloon next to it. Unless I see a red balloon that just looks like it's going to be super easy to hit. I'm just going to go for the blue balloons and get the large gift bag stacked up. All right, so we are cutting it down to the last second. We have 40 seconds on the timer. So let's try to get a few of these large gift bags before our time is out. Honestly, guys, I wouldn't lie about this, but the time did kind of fly while I was doing that. This is definitely an activity that you can just kind of get lost in your thoughts while doing. So keep that in mind if you do want to try this method. We currently have five, four, three, two, and finally one the challenge is over i can't even grab that last balloon we are officially at an hour of doing this method so i'm gonna pause the timer and let's see how many gift bags we have in total so we have 150 large gift bags as well as 219 regular gift bags and then three mini chests so not too bad. I'm actually going to put 25 of these regular ones in this box just so we know exactly how much we made just from the grind itself uh, because we did get 25 of these gift bags from that achievement. So if we want to know exactly how much we're making, it's only fair that we do put that up. Now, obviously, we can just see the values of these three. I'm going to put it in this box just so we can get a total for these three. And there it is, you guys. We made almost 2.5 million diamonds in just an hour from running around and grabbing these gift bags. So that is actually pretty good for a free-to-play player that anybody can do. I can only imagine how much diamonds these cheaters and exploiters are making by doing this method. Because if I was able to get 2.5 million diamonds by doing this, by just running around and even missing half my shot, then a bot that can do this automatically and teleport around the map and instantly change servers is probably making an absolute ton of diamonds doing this and honestly i'd imagine that these bots that are doing this are probably making at least double what i was able to do in this hour just because the ability to teleport to each balloon and do all of these things instantly saves absolutely a ton of time because i wasted so much time trying to click the box that fall to the ground and then try to hit the balloons as they move so these bots can do that without missing a hundred percent of the time so they are probably making bank plus the exploiters that are doing this aren't doing this on just one account this is probably going on for hundreds of accounts and people are just absolutely printing diamonds in this game. I don't want to make this video too long. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this method. And if you think it's worth it for you to be doing it. And how much you think these exploiters are able to make every hour by doing this. Remember to join the Discord for daily giveaways. As well as like the video if you enjoyed this content. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.